Anyway, let's get ourselves going here. Hey guys, let's talk today about outfits in the new PTS patch. So, this is a new outfit station here. And as you can see, it starts off with dyes, it has armor styles, weapon styles, and the ability to rename, uh, rename outfits, randomize, all that other good stuff. So you have no outfit. Outfit one, unlock a new outfit, which you can't currently do on the PTS. They do lock us on that stuff, but we're gonna take a look at this here. So we're gonna name our outfit here, Bob. The Bob outfit. We're gonna randomize the colors. That looks like an eyesore. I think we'll go with that. Now, I went ahead and researched everything except for Outlaw, okay? Notice that any, if anything's available to you, it's gonna pop up right to the top here. Double click on something. One thing I do dislike is if I um, change from something that has a single color to a third color, it wipes out whatever I had for the other colors. Maybe they'll fix that. <laughs> I can clear that slot. Uh, let's go shoulders. Um, this time, let's go for a heavy. That is clipping right through. <laughs> oh yeah, those look, those look perfect, guys. Okay, let's go with that. Um, hands, uh, Dark Elf. Yeah, let's go, um... Let's go something else. Let's go something a little bit more, uh... Let's go Yoko then. Alright. A waist. Oh, I like to go light. Got a belt buckle there. Uh, let's go medium, I guess. Ashlander. Eh, uh, you know what, let's go more, um... Celestial, maybe? I'll go with that, alright, and feet, uh, boy and armature, sure. Now, my weapons don't go with this either, so... My main hand here... Let's go with... Well, my main here, hand here is a, is a dagger, so you know what? I actually want to go more sword-based. Dramothra swords. It actually has that blue on it. Nice. Frost color. Doesn't do anything for the frost color th change there, but sure. Uh, what a buoyant. Oh, look at that buoyant one. Goes well with the green, doesn't it? Now for the offhand here. Well, I've always kind of wanted to be a ninja, so... Let's go something that looks a little bit more katana-like, right? Oh yeah, that's perfect, guys, right? Looks totally random here, but... Okay, so to do this, it's gonna cost me about 9k gold. Or one, um... One token here. So we're gonna apply changes. Or an alpha change token. We're gonna confirm it. Sure, we'll go with that. 
Now, okay, look at this outlaw sword here, right? I can do that, but look, I can't apply the change. Changes can be cannot be applied here if we don't know the style. So this outlaw star style here, we just don't know. Let's randomize. Keep on randomizing until you get something you like. Bob has been updated. So again, you can take a look at any of these here. Um, you cannot just save a style and before you apply it, which is one of the things I do dislike about it. I think that they should have like something where you can um, just fool around with it, maybe make a, a separate set here. And then just save it off, but not actually apply it. And the reason you do that is that you can actually take it and then make it so that you um, make the outfit and then you like get yourself up there but you're like well i need another 10k gold or i need to go find uh motif xyz and hold on to your changes here because you know if you don't have the set here and you try to apply it you can't apply it so you got to go revert the changes go find the motif come back do everything all over again otherwise i think it's pretty good here Except. You still have the standard stuff here. And I'm pretty sure this is applied to... Yeah, so plus members, but I'm not sure. I gotta read up on that a little bit. Weapon dies on the weapons, I have to say, is kind of nice at this point. Because before, we couldn't do anything about it. Oh, I forgot. We didn't, we didn't do anything for this. Uh, let's go ahead and do a barbaric. So you can do these as well. 